Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Today on The Real Opinion, we're going to be talking about two movies. One is about a man that gets a second chance at life, but possibly at the expense of another's. The other is the origin story of everyone's favorite gibberish talking minions. Here are a couple of quick reviews for two films you may want to consider or not consider checking out. First up is Selfless. Just by watching the previews, you can see how this one is going to go. It's full of predictable twists and turns, but they can be kind of fun at times. The explanation for the science in this movie is just pretty much ignored. We're just supposed to buy into the body switching method. And honestly, I don't really know why Sir Ben Kingsley was even in this. He's only in it for about 15 minutes or so. Some unpredictable twists would have been nice, but this is one of those movies that just needs one of those Hollywood endings. There is some action in this, and it can get a bit ridiculous at times. In a way, this kind of reminded me of Face Off. Huh. Both titles seem to have that one-word split thing going on. Weird. Look, this isn't a bad film, but it's a rental at best. Next up is Minions. I think the reason that the Minions were so lovable in both Despicable Me films was because they weren't the true focal point of the film. They were there mostly for comic relief. The only thing that their own movie really had going for it was all the same types of jokes that they were known for. Slapstick, gibberish, etc. That's pretty much it the whole time. Will the kiddos enjoy this? Sure. Can you shut off your brain and enjoy the stupidity? Sure. Minions is nowhere near as good as the other two films. I can really only give this one a pass because of the ending, which is outstanding. The ending is diabolically genius sorry but i can't spoil it for you and to do so would be despicable of me but remember it's only just one guy's opinion i'm gino reynolds from the real opinion until next time